。好，二零一四年嘅第三条题目啦，今次就关于細胞分裂嘅。咁啊喺二十世纪初之前啦，咁一般科学家咧都认为咧。当个細胞进行細胞分裂嘅时候，佢系会丧失咗一啲遗传物质嘅，而导致到咧一只多細胞生物嘅每一个 cell 咧，其实佢只系拥有一部分嘅遗传物质，从而令佢变成一种特定嘅細胞。就呢个概念咧，都系嚟自于我哋嘅观察嘅。我哋觀察咗一啲多細胞生物，例如用人類嚟理解啦。我哋有肌肉細胞、肝嘅細胞、腦嘅細胞、肺嘅細胞、骨頭嘅細胞，如此種種。咁我哋就諗啦，我係咯，嗱每個細胞咧佢就變成唔同嘅功能啊、樣貌啊。咁自不然啦，佢哋入面應該就只係得特定嘅遺傳物質。咁呢種遺傳物質喺邊度嚟嘅咧？我當初可能有好多噶，但係慢慢就冇咁啲，冇咁啲，令你變成嗰一款嘅細胞。所以呢個概念咧就引申成為啦，當個細胞進行細胞分裂嘅時候，佢喪失咗一啲遺傳物質，從而啦就去證明肌肉細胞佢只能夠透過細胞分裂都係變成翻肌肉細胞，唔會變成其他嘢。之後啦就有一位德國嘅生物學家啦，佢專係研究胚胎嘅。佢就做咗一個實驗，將一個兩妻類嘅胚胎，佢喺一個兩個細胞嘅情況底下，就將呢兩個細胞斬開佢。而佢發現啦，呢兩個細胞咧，分別係能夠變成翻一隻完整嘅兩妻類動物。咁當其時佢研究嘅咧係一隻榮源啊。咁根據呢個概念，我哋會發現啦，咦，明明得一個細胞，但係當佢做一變二、二變四嘅時候，我哋發現佢能夠變翻成隻嘢。嗱，最當初。由一开做二，嗱佢已经两个細胞啦嘛。根据返头先嘅逻辑，細胞分裂系会导致到遗传物质嘅丧失嘅时候，其实佢已经丧失咗一部分啦。咁佢应该系唔能够变咗一隻完整嘅永远喎、哦。但我哋发现唔系、哦，佢真系变成咗一隻完整嘅永远，就即系话啦，喺呢个过程当中呢。唔單止進行細胞分裂，亦都會進行細胞嘅分化，而所得出嘅概念，所得出嘅結果，正正就係 Part A 問你嘅嘢啦。點解史佩曼嘅實驗而係能夠去推翻到過往科學家嘅想法呢？咁其實呢個題目呢，就考返我哋一啲數據分析。咁咁今次嘅題目雖然唔係俾啲一二三四你去理解，但係就提供咗一個科學探究嘅文字描述俾你，從而就作出推論啦。首先我哋要用返史佩曼嘅實驗結果，就係、是、每一個俾人分離咗嘅細胞，原來佢都係有能力變成一隻完整嘅榮源嘅，都暗示咗喺呢個細胞入面佢有一套完整嘅基因遺傳物質。又或者你倒返轉嚟講啦，喺第一次嘅細胞分裂嘅時候，佢係冇喪失到任何嘅遺傳物質嘅。而第二呢，就要我哋去展述一下樓上嘅呢個例子，即係話啦，有過往嘅想法，而之後呢個想法被推返啦。呢一件事，佢哋點樣去示範得到以下呢兩項嘅科學本質呢？第一就係科學知識係暫時性，而係可以變更嘅。第二就係話啦，當我哋要去描述、解釋一啲觀察嘅時候，我哋需要建基於我哋過往嘅一啲認知同埋基礎理論嘅。呢條題目咧，唔單止投呢兩個嘅科學本質嘅，咁其實仲有呢兩個嘅科學本質嘅。第一，科學係一個不斷發問嘅過程；而第二啦，就係懷疑論係可以促成科學進步嘅。如果唔係，當初史佩曼都唔会去做佢自己呢个实验，啊人哋话系咪系咯？嗱，经过细胞分裂咧，啲遗传物质系会流失噶啦，系咁噶啦。咁所以肌肉细胞咪净系变翻肌肉细胞咯，骨头细胞咪净系变翻骨头细胞咯。但系佢就不断去问问题，就有佢呢一个嘅研究。而渐渐嚟到我哋而家呢个世代啦，大家都有一种常识，就知道啦，有一款细胞叫做干细胞，佢系能够变成唔同类型嘅细胞嘅。我运用呢一个科学探究嘅故事。去展述翻科學本質咯。第一啦，史佩曼嘅實驗係推翻咗過往科學家嘅想法，當中最重要嘅就係有一啲新嘅證據，而唔係話求求其其。我只有個鼻嗱，我係德國人，我叫史佩曼，我話佢哋錯，佢哋就係錯。原來唔係，係有新嘅證據。啲新嘅證據亦都可能係建基於一啲科技嘅進步而產生嘅。而第二啦，當我哋去解釋一個觀察嘅時候，我哋建基於我哋已有嘅一啲知識或者理論嘅，亦即係意味住，即使史佩曼係知道咗，原來當個細胞分裂嘅時候，嗰啲基因嘅遺傳物質仍然喺個細胞入面，但係喺嗰個時候，佢哋仲未知道原來呢個遺傳物質係能夠複製自己嘅。而同一時間啦，雖然史佩曼佢知道成個細胞入面係有曬整套嘅遺傳物質。
，但系系咪全部维权物质都参与喺整一个肌肉細胞、整一个肝嘅細胞、整一个脑嘅細胞呢？佢喺嗰一刻系未知道嘅。咁所以亦都引申到啦，往后我哋有其他嘅科学实验啦。Dr. Pass 就系利用翻我哋而家现有有关于細胞分裂嘅知识，而去解释翻我哋点样喺一个有丝分裂嘅情况底下去保存我哋嘅维权物质啦。而呢呢个概念咪就系 DNA 嘅复制咯。一开始我哋知道啦，喺间期嘅时候呢，其实个細胞准备将要做細胞分裂，佢就会将佢嘅 DNA replicate 去複製咗佢。而呢个 duplicate 咗嘅 chromosome， 当佢要预备被分开嘅时候，佢就会喺个 equator 嗰度 line up 起上嚟啦，就会排队啦。然后呢，我哋就将呢个 s i s t e r c h r o m a t i t e 去将佢。搣開咗佢，就而去到個 cell 嘅兩邊嘅極位，從而啦就可以將複製咗嘅遺傳物質等份地分開去兩個嘅子細胞啦。又嚟到一點出發嘅時間啦。今次呢條題目呢，就係、是、由細胞分裂作為一個切入點嘅，先係透過科學探究去考下我哋對於細胞分裂唔同階段嘅理解。然後再去聚焦於有絲分裂，點解今次講有絲分裂啊？係因為喺成個科學探究入面呢，我哋我哋就將一個兩妻類。嘅胚胎就一分为二，呢两个細胞呢，亦都独立成为咗两隻完整嘅两妻女。咁所以今次我哋讲緊係一个成长嘅情况。咁当中有一个好重要嘅概念呢，就係 DNA 嘅複製。点解我哋要複製个 DNA 呢？係因为我哋想去产生一个基因上一模一样嘅細胞，因为喺有絲分裂，我哋都学过啦，母細胞同子細胞呢，佢哋基因上係一样嘅。咁點解要咁樣做呢？咁呢個大家係要溫返嘅。呢條題目有啲咩嘅變奏？有啲咩可以轉心啲去問你呢？亦都係講緊科學探究，亦都係講緊科學嘅本質。係因為當初我哋對於細胞分裂嘅理解，就淨係知道細胞可以分裂啦。但係細胞分裂嘅時候啦，佢哋染色體係點樣做嘢嘅呢？當一個細胞要去分裂之前，佢要預備好多嘢㗎喎。咁呢個都係講緊經過好多重嘅科學探究呢，去引申而成嘅。而今次我想講嘅呢，就係有關於 DNA 呢個遺傳物質係咪會喪失咗、流失咗嘅呢個概念呢？就去到而家講嘅基因調控啦。有絲分裂嘅情況底下，成套嘅遺傳物質係冇喪失到嘅。咁即係話每一個細胞基因上一模一樣啦。但係我哋會發現啦，原來喺我哋成個身體入面呢，即使大家有嘅基因係一模一樣，但係佢哋嘅外表啦、佢哋嘅功能啦。都可以系唔同嘅，咁啊，全部細胞，正如头先我所讲啦，身体細胞呢，佢哋基因上一模一样，亦都有晒所有嘅基因，但佢哋嘅功能外表亦都不一样，咁啊，因为有一啲嘅基因呢，佢哋处于活跃嘅状态，亦都有一啲基因呢，系处于唔活跃嘅状态，亦即系基因调控啦，有啲 turn on， 有啲 turn off 咗，呢、这个系喺分子遗传学嗰度学翻嚟嘅，而当中啦，有少少概念啦，提下大家咯，就系、是、成熟嘅红血球。由於佢哋係冇細胞核嘅，咁所以啦，佢哋亦都唔會有任何嘅基因啦。咁下面呢度呢兩條題目，睇下大家識唔識答咯。第第一條啦，下面啦五款嘅結構當中有啲咩嘅細胞係擁有一個胰島素嘅基因呢？去到第二條題目啦，同樣地都係呢五款嘅細胞或者組織。究竟边一个啦系能够制造到胰岛素呢？我希望大家尝试下喺留言区留低你嘅答案，睇下你啱唔啱。Before the early 2 0 t h century, scientists generally held a belief: cell division result in the loss of genetic material, so that each cell in a multicellular organism would contain only the genetic materials specific to its particular cell type. Means that during the cell division, there is a loss of genetic material. This belief. Can be used to explain that why the muscle cells they can only undergo the cell division to form the new muscle cells. But later on, a German biologist Hans Spiemann he specialized in the embryology, the study of embryo. He performed a scientific investigation, used a fine hair to separate the cell of two cells amphibian embryo, and find that. Each of the cells was able to develop into a complete organism. From this investigation, we know that the cells it can develop into a complete organism. The cells they do not only carry out cell division, but also cell differentiation. And the key idea is the answer for part 
A. Why did Spiemann's experiment disprove the early belief about cell division? That means that there is no loss of genetic material during cell division. So for this question is testing our data analysis skills, although we are not analyzing the table, the graph, one, two, three, four, the data, but we are analyzing the story of the scientific investigation. And then we need to do the deduction. So first of all, we need to use the result. Each of the separated cell was able to develop into a complete organism. It implies that a whole set of genetic material is present in each cell. Or the other reason, there was no reduction in the quantity of genetic material during the first division. When was the first division? There should be one cell here to divide it into two daughter cells. And then we separate these two cells. If the old belief were correct, there would be no no chance for these cells to develop into a complete organism. How can we use the above story, the scientific investigation, to elaborate? So we need to use the story of this scientific investigation to elaborate. How can we demonstrate the following nature of science? Scientific knowledge is tentative and subject to change. We are doing the interpretation of the observation. We need some basic knowledge, maybe understanding of other theories and concepts. There are a few more aspects of nature of science can be demonstrated. We need to keep asking questions and doubt the old belief. Is it really correct? Is there really loss of genetic material during cell division? If Spiemann really believed that mm, it's correct, mm, there is really loss of genetic material during cell division, he will not do this scientific investigation, right? First of all, Spiemann's result disproved the general belief, showing the scientific knowledge will change when there is new evidence evolved. So I want to remind you that the key idea is the second half of the sentence, when there is new evidence evolved. We cannot just say that, mm, you, you know that I'm Spiemann, I'm the professor of embryology, you need to believe in me. No, no, no. He really did the scientific investigation and he really got some results to convince us to disprove the general belief. And secondly, scientists observed that cell division and believe that all material inside will be divided too without knowing the genetic material will be duplicated. They do not have such idea about the DNA replication or even Spiemann think that all the cells will contain the complete set of genetic material. But he did not know that if all the genetic material are required to form a whole organism. So you can see that the whole story needs to a ongoing investigation. So we develop the understanding of the detailed mechanism of cell division and we also develop the theories and concepts about the molecular genetics. And for part C, using the current understanding about cell division, explain how the genetic material is preserved in mitosis. So you need to recall the key processes in cell division. The critical concept is about the DNA replication. First of all, during the interface, the cell is going to divide. So it needs to do some preparation to double the DNA content. And for the metaphase, the duplicated chromosome needs to prepare for the separation. So that's why they lie up in the middle of the cells. And then each member of the duplicated chromosome will then separate and eventually divide it equally into each daughter cells. So that's why the daughter cells, they are genetically identical. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping in this question. This question starts from the cell division. And we use the scientific investigation to check are you familiar with the different stages of the cell division? In this question, we also talk about the mitosis because in the scientific investigation, we separate the cell of a two-celled amphibian embryo. And these two cells, they can develop into a complete organism. So it means that they are undergoing the mitotic cell division for growth. So that's why we need to recall the concept of DNA replication. But not just the process, we need to talk about the importance of the DNA replication because we would like to produce the genetically identical daughter cells. That's something we have learned from the textbook. The mother cells and the daughter cells in the mitotic cell division, they are genetically identical. 
And after these two concepts, what about any variation of the questions? For the study of cell division, there are a lot of scientific investigation to talk about the behavior of the chromosome in different stages of the cell division. We can talk about the DNA replication, we can talk about the interface before the cell is going to divide. What kind of preparation work they need to do, right? So the question, it may ask you the scientific investigation and also show you the nature of science because the scientific knowledge is dynamic and tentative. And in this part, I would like to talk about the gene regulation. How can we turn on or turn off the gene? So for this part, I have two questions to check you. Are you familiar with the two concepts of the molecular genetics and also the cell division? All body cells of an individual are genetically identical, containing all genes in the nucleus. Body cells have different appearance and different functions because different genes are active or what we say that they are turned on and then they can exert their effect in the particular tissues. One reminder for some exceptional case. Since the mature rubber cell in a human, they do not have the nucleus. They do not contain any gene coding for the human insulin. That's why there are two questions to check your concept. First of all, which of the following cells contains the insulin gene? One, two, three, four, five. These five structures or the cells. And then for the second question is that which of the following cells produce the insulin? Also these five structures or the cells. I really want you to try these two questions and leave your answer in the comment section.